peace. Yeah. Think fast. We have an infinite amount of abundance. We have an infinite amount of abundance or infinite amount of cash flow in our vibrational bank account. But in order to take out, you know, in order to uh, make a withdrawal out of that bank account, you have to match the vibration of that abundance that you're trying to withdraw. And just, just knowing that you are abundance all the time is one of the keys to, you know, manifesting it. I always tell people, you know, like, uh, like right now, you may say, oh, I ain't got no physical paper money in, in, in your pocket right now, say, if, if that may be the case, you know what I'm saying? Or when that is the case, but you still have abundance, because think about the fact that before, like, before you ever possess any cash, you know what I'm saying? You had to match the vibration in order to manifest it first, you know what I'm saying? So you always, and think about this, Think about all the money you accumulated over your lifetime, you know what I'm saying? And that also gives you an idea of that, you know, the, 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 the money is always out there, the abundance is always out there. I just have to match it in order to manifest it within my experience. And that's one of the things that we tend to uh, fall victim to is falling in that place of, uh, the place of lack, like where you kind of focus on not having the revenue rather than knowing that it is always around. And even when the physical paper money is not visible, you still are abundance and you will manifest the physical paper abundance by, you know, by knowing that, hey, I'm still abundance even though I've spent the last dollar, I, I, you know, the last paper dollar I had or whatever, the physical money. But you have an infinite amount of abundance, you know what I'm saying? Like, reason why all of us, say for instance, we all, some of us like, man, I'm want to hit the lottery or I'm trying to uh, you know, manifest a hundred thousand dollars I'm trying to manifest a thousand dollars I'm trying to you know I'm trying to become a millionaire all that money is in your bank account you know it's there but you have to match the vibration of that money in order to pull it out of the bank account in order to put it out of your vortex you have to match the vibration of it because if you're not matching the vibration of it the universe like you know is bad and the universe not even making a decision this is all set in place this is like a you know like this computer software you know it runs it, it already has the algorithm set in place you just gotta match up with you know with the algorithm to get what you're trying to get you know but uh the abundance is always always around you know matter of fact think about it like all the potential that's what the the, the, the uh the dark matter that takes up 90 percent of the uh the atom you know what i'm saying it's full of potential and that's the same thing with us, you know, it's full of potential. We made out of all these atoms with all that, you know, that dark matter, quote unquote, in it, you know, full of that potential to manifest things, you know, because that's, again, with the vibration, you know what I'm saying? As my vibration gets to a certain level, as I start, uh, as I start embodying the vibration of an entrepreneur, the vibration of somebody who has financial abundance and who maintain it as I vibrate on that you know on that frequency then those vibe, those physical vibrations come into my experience you know but what I just really you know want to get through to everybody is that you always always have abundance and always remember remember that you know whenever you spend that last that paper dollar you know you want to get into that conscious mode let this video be a reminder where you know where after watching this video if you ever get to that point of spending less and also don't be scared like you know what i'm saying holding on to the cash either because it's almost like saying i don't believe i have this bank account I, I don't believe i have source backing me with all this abundance so let me penny pinch or let me hold on to this dollar or let me save this for a rainy day because matter of fact i made a video about that you creating a rainy day by saving something for a rainy day you know you got to know you are abundance and matter of fact i've been playing with this situation where i've been kind of back and forth learning it but i experiment with things matter of fact i'll be honest that's why sometimes i have to uh you know delay uh the shipping with my jewelry sometimes because I be in that mode of trying to, you know, not be scared to spend my money. Like, all right, I know I got to get this. I know this. You know what I'm saying? And going with the flow. Sometimes, though, if I let a vibration of lack slip through, then it'll kind of cause, you know, it'll cause like a slight pause in the, uh, 
in the flow of abundance, you know. But if I'm in that mode of, you know, not only spinning like I'm not scared, but, you know, just really always keeping that abundance uh, vibration, then it, it flows in that manner, you know. But you have to match that vibration in order to open that bank account. But the, the money is there, the abundance, the whatever on a material level is there, but you have to match that vibration, you know. If you still falling victim to, like say for instance with myself, I even talk with myself, like if I still fall victim to, uh, you know, indecisiveness or like not even say indecisiveness, but sometimes like when I catch the munchies, you know, I, I catch an indecisive mode in the store, you know, but you know, that vibration is not a, a productive and beneficial vibration. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna attract the vibration of people that operate on that same, you know what I'm saying? Which ain't nothing wrong with it, we're growing, you know what I'm saying? But that's just the reality of the situation. You you, you uh, attract the exact vibrations of what you're dealing with, what you're doing. The moment I start making sure I uh, build my website and I do all this, then I will, you know, uh, like I said, attract people who's who's making sure they doing they stuff with their websites and all that stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Which there's an asterisk by that because I I got I feel like I have the uncanny ability to not be all professional, but still like be in the professional world, so to speak. You know, because even now, like with my you like with my Instagram, well, you know, I'm selling my jewelry off my Instagram, and it's still gonna be successful regardless if I get a website or not which I will but you know it's like I don't work under business conditions you know I don't let business be a condition for me like well all right I gotta you know like how some people feel like they gotta cut their hair and do this in order to make money on this level you know or I have to talk like this and become you know proper talking to get to the level I have to get to so I'm gonna talk like this it's like <laughs> you know like nah you know and I'm grateful for that to have like that uncanny ability to you know and and I say like where I could uh be a millionaire without matching that vibration nah not necessarily but I don't have to be the construct of the other millionaires that came before you know what I'm saying I could be myself you know what I'm saying I don't have to fall into that construct of making sure every morning I eat a piece of chocolate to get some serotonin in my brain or this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like those little business things and this and that. I mean, that helps, you know, I'm not knocking it or none of that, but you know, I could attain it off of, you know, just being my, being myself, still matching the vibration of what I'm, you know, what I'm attaining, what I, what I am uh, trying to manifest, but doing it on my own terms, you know, like you don't have to be exactly you know that millionaire to to bring millions you know what i'm saying matter of fact and that's what the illusion that they try to put in front of you that a millionaire has to be the clean cut suited man you know how many millionaires got their own little websites this and that dress like any kind of way like me you know what i'm saying i say any kind of way but you know dress how they feel don't uh hold themselves they're not like uh out there so you don't really know they're millionaires you know what i'm saying like there's millionaires out there on all levels you know it's not just this one construct of millionaire you got people who take you know like it's just all sorts of ways of it's different variations of matching the vibration to to manifest you know the things that you're trying to manifest but it's basically it you know just know you have an infinite amount of abundance you just have to match the vibration of the abundance that you're trying to manifest you know you always have abundance and matter of fact another thing I left out of video which is very important that it really comes to you whenever you're in the moment whenever you're in the now whenever you're not necessarily looking for it you know it's whenever you kind of just in that mode of letting it come to you and does that mean if I go out to sell my braces or it's not going to come to me? No, because I'm, but as long as my physical actions is of, uh, my, my physical actions is coming from inspired impulses, then, you know, again, it's still going to flow because it was my inner being say, all right, it's coming, but let's add to this by going sit right here with your jewelry and bring in even more, you know what I'm saying? So 
it's not it's not uh forcing yourself to do nothing either but it is about being in the moment you know what i'm saying being in the now not worrying about just being fully focused in what you have at hand and that's a lot of times too when things are manifest for you is when when you're not worried about it actually because in most cases when you're worried about it or you focus on it you may take the position again you may take the position of lack and you're focusing on it from a lack uh, position you want to focus on it or having it like matter of fact like after you spend your last dollar you want to have a smile on your face for one you want to be grateful that when you spend it whatever you whoever you spend it with or whatever you'd be grateful that it's going to help them do whatever they got to do you know what i'm saying with however they use their cash i'm helping them but after also after you spend that last quote unquote dollar you want to you want to get into that mode of realizing visualizing like it all like matter of fact envision you know the tourist feel with with abundance and abundance on all levels you could vision paper dollars you can envision say friends i envision crystals and spiritual uh like singing both things that i want to like instead of focusing on just the the cash itself i focus on the things that i want to you know purchase with the cash you know and manifest it on that level but you know, you just, like, again, after spending that last dollar, you want to just envision your abundance constantly flowing, or you want to envision the next, uh, say, friends, if you're an entrepreneur, envision your next uh, transaction going down, you know, and, and you want to feel it. You want to, like, envision it, and you start smiling, like, yeah, you feel yourself exchanging the money, exchanging whatever good or service you're exchanging, you know, and you envision having it. You know, you envision the money in your vortex, the, the abundance in your vortex, you know, and you start to smile and you feel it, you know, but that's what, that's what helps to maintain that abundance is always knowing that it is always around you and constantly flowing. The universe is always saying yes, the universe is always looking out for you until you, with your ego and your lo logic and your worry, put your cork under the water, so to speak, you know, like uh, Abraham say, whenever you choke up and stop the flow of things you know what i'm saying and that's why you're experiencing you know a lack but it's, it's always like the universe is always sending good vibes to you always sending you know the things to to help you become your greatest version and to you know to uh attain your soul purpose but it's the things that we do mentally all the things we were taught about uh, all people with money evil this and that you know all those little constructs stuck in your subconscious is the reason why you may be uh have maybe lacking abundance right now you know but that's it i'm gonna leave on that note just you want, want to know that the abundance is always there no matter if you spend the last little physical dollars it's always there you gotta know it but you gotta get in that mode of being in the now you know being satisfied of being uh appreciative of the moment and being unconditionally appreciative being unconditionally in alignment so no matter what physical conditions may pop up you know like i'm always abundance is you know it's gonna manifest it is manifesting right now as we speak matter of fact you know like just knowing that it's with you no matter what but peace happy now now it's a vibrate not going too far in the future too far in the past.